In this video, we're going to learn about factors that affect solubility. Try this experiment at home, or at least think about what would happen if you did try this experiment. Take some sand and stir it into a glass of water, and what happens? Well, the sand just kind of settles to the bottom. Now try taking some salt and stirring that into a glass of water. What happens this time? Well, it disappears. It dissolves. Some things are able to form solutions with water, and other things are not. The sand did not dissolve, and so it is insoluble. And the salt, on the other hand, it did dissolve, and so this is soluble. And so in this video, we're going to learn about what affects the solubility of things that dissolve in water. Why do some things dissolve better, and how can we make something dissolve better? So we're going to look at four factors. We'll look at stirring, temperature, particle size, and pressure. Now before we get to those, one thing to consider is that solids are not the only thing that can dissolve in water. Believe it or not, gases dissolve in water as well, and actually air dissolves into water really well. If you drink a glass of water, you're not drinking pure water. You're drinking water that contains a lot of dissolved substances. Now some of those things are minerals and different uh, vitamins that might have dissolved in there or been intentionally placed in there, but you're also going to get air that's in there. So the oxygen and carbon dioxide and nitrogen from the air dissolves into that water. You can also think about pop. Pop is fizzy because they have put dissolved CO2 into that pop. Gives it that fizziness. So we're thinking about uh, solubility, we're thinking about solids, we're also thinking about gases in some of these. So let's start with stirring. This one's pretty common sense. Have you ever tried to sweeten your tea or coffee with a spoonful of sugar? Well, you can't just dump it in and then start drinking. You have to stir it. Now, if you did just dump the sugar in, it would eventually dissolve. It would just take a long time. So stirring increases the rate at which a solid will dissolve. So another way to put that is we could say stirring increases the rate of the solubility. Next factor that we'll look at is temperature. Now iced tea and hot tea are going to dissolve sugar differently. You may have tried stirring sugar into iced tea to sweeten it a little bit and after you finish that whole glass of iced tea you may have noticed that there's a bunch of sugar left in the bottom or maybe you noticed it was sweeter at the bottom than it was at the top. Solids don't dissolve very well in cold water and the hotter the water the faster or the more of a solid you're going to be able to dissolve. Now, what about gases? Well, gases actually work the opposite. In a hot solution, gases will dissolve less, or they'll be less soluble. And so solids are going to increase their solubility as the temperature increases, while gases will decrease their solubility as the temperature decreases. All right, the next one here is going to be particle size. Now there is a reason we use granulated sugar to add to our tea and coffee. The smaller the particle size, the faster a substance will dissolve. And breaking a substance into smaller particles gives more surface area to interact with the water molecules and dissolve. And so the smaller the particle, the faster it will dissolve. And finally, pressure. Now, increasing the pressure of a solution is kind of like pushing down on the top of the solution. This has very little effect to no effect at all on the solubility of a solid. Solids aren't affected by pressure. Gases, on the other hand, are greatly affected by pressure. The greater the pressure, the greater the solubility of a gas. And this is why pop goes flat when it's left open. The reason pop is so packed with CO2 is because it's under great pressure. That's what it means to be carbonated, is that they pressurize the solution and they can pack a whole bunch of carbon dioxide into that solution. It makes it all fizzy. And when you open the bottle of pop, you're going to lower the pressure of the solution. And so the solubility of the CO2 decreases and the pop will go flat. And so those are the factors that affect solubility.